Okay, so today we're going to show you how to make some chow. I'm going to get you a bucket. With a lid. Yeah, make sure you have a lid so it doesn't dry out. We're going to add three pounds of chow. Number two. Number two. Add it to your bucket. And you're going to mix in one cup of flour. All-purpose flour. Yeah, all-purpose. Make sure it's all-purpose. You want to add it to your bucket of chow. Mix it until everything's mixed well. Make sure everything's covered white. You don't want to leave nothing, nothing black in it. You know, make sure all your chow is covered in white. Mix it up good. If you have to, just keep mixing until you think it's, it's, it's right. See how I got a little bit of that black there? You need to keep mixing it. All right. After you get that done, you're going to add one cup of wheat bran. Wheat bran. You can buy this wheat bran at your local feed store. Double wheat bran. Add it to your bucket. And you're going to give it another good mix. Give it another good mix. Pretty much the same thing as your flour. You want It ain't going to disappear, but you want to make sure you get it mixed up good in your chow. Because if not, it won't, won't break down. It's winter time down here in Kings Mountain, North Carolina. The water is getting a little bit colder, but in this recipe, I'm using KO syrup. So summertime, this bait probably worked good, but wintertime, we've been having good luck down here in Kings Mountain with it. Alrighty. Once that's mixed in, you're gonna add whatever flavoring you like. Whatever flavor. My flavoring today is Kool-Aid. You can use Use Kool-Aid. Strawberry, now, grape, lemon, whatever you'd like to use. Now, the, how much I put in it is one-fourth. You can put how much you want to, but one-fourth is not as strong. If you want to make it stronger, go up to one-half or three-fourths cup and make it stronger. I do it that where I won't make the bait so strong. All right, add that to your bait. And then give it a good mix. <laughs> Now you can use liquid, but I ain't never used liquid, but you, you can use liquid. After you get that good mixed up, you're going to add your Cairo. You want to heat it in the microwave for about a minute. This is 16 ounces. Now if you want to add liquid flavoring, I, I suggest add your liquid flavoring to your to your KO. Now, like I said, you want if you want to mix, put a lot in it, it'll make it stronger. Less will make it a little bit weaker, but I I, I like the weaker. All right, to get all of it out of your cup or how you want to do it, I take a spoon and, and rake it. Get all much as you can out of it. Some people like to heat it up in the bottle. We like to put it in a measuring cup. You want to make this the day before, that way to be ready for the next day. Like we're going Friday, today's only Thursday, so we're going tomorrow, so it should be good and ready by tomorrow, by tomorrow night. Alrighty, get that all raked out. And then you're going to get your hands dirty. Alright, and you're going to mix it up. Now this stuff looks wet, like it won't pack, but tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon, this stuff will be good to throw. I'm going to show you a bucket after, after it gets mixed up, what it looks like. Now you don't want no dry spots in it, in this. This won't, this bay won't work. See how I got dry right there? You're going to keep mixing it up till it's all gone. You don't think that 16 ounces would be enough to cover it all, but it is. You just got to mix the crap out of it. Now 
this here is what it'll look like after it's uh, packed. See, it's packing really well. It'll be ready to throw. That's what this will look like after he's finished. All right, now while I'm mixing this up, I want to go back over to the ingredients. You want three pounds of chow, number two chow. All right, next, you want one cup of flour, uh, one cup of wheat bran, 16 ounces of KO syrup, and then whatever flavoring you want. Now, I prefer to use a glove if you have a glove, but I see I'm not using a glove. But that's what it looks like after it gets mixed up. Alrighty, and that's how you make carrot syrup bait.